Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial where we dive into the exciting world of augmented reality and Apple's latest advancements. So Apple recently announced Apple Vision Pro, which is an advanced framework that combines machine learning and computer vision technologies. And with this tool, basically any developer like you and me can create immersive augmented reality experiences, or I should rather say mixed reality experiences where you can seamlessly integrate let's say virtual content into the real world now you might be wondering why i'm even talking about it and what does it like do so basically in this tutorial we will talk about a tool which is reality kit offered by apple again for these kind of experiences now we all know right like apple has been a trendsetter like you can take an example of apple watches or airpods iphone mac or um, like macbook with m1 and things like that right and everyone in the industry follows that trend and somewhere i feel that mixed reality can become a part of our life in the future as long as it gets cheaper and uh, you know it gets more creative and it can do things which normally you cannot do right and uh, as you know on this channel we always talk about latest tech and what can help you as a developer to grow and to like explore the best thing out there so again now coming back to augmented reality i think this can be a good thing to learn for tomorrow when apple vision pro actually gets launched and maybe um, in couple of years we will see even more cheaper devices from apple similar to apple vision pro and from other manufacturers as well so now let's get started how you can start your ar journey with apple so if you are interested press the like subscribe button because i'm going to make a lot of videos on it and let's get started so i am using xcode right now the current version i'm using is 14.3.1 you can use whatever version you don't have to use beta or anything like that for that then you will create a new xcode project now here you can choose either app or augmented reality app let's go with basic app and then we will integrate augmented reality now you have to give a product name so i can just say my first ar app it will add automatically so that's fine team you can choose like if you have don't have a developer account then you probably would want a developer account but that's fine even if you have uh, no developer account interface is swift ui language is swift obviously swift ui is the future for making apple related apps ios mac os or whatever and language uh, we use swift core data probably not right now but in the future we can use so um, then i'm going to press next and i'll select a folder and i will get this particular app okay so let me give you a brief of how xcode works or how uh, this folder looks like so you have this my first ar folder where we have a my first ar app this is how the application starts from this which is a main function i would say uh, main class rather here um, and um, we have a scene where we specify content view. you can change it to anything else and in the content view we have a declarative way of writing ui where we have a body inside the body we have a v stack which is more like a column if you are coming from a flutter background and then we have an image and a text which is saying image and hello world okay this is what we have right now the, there, there are few things okay first we have to understand what are the differences between ar kit second is reality kit right and uh, if you can see i'm writing over here and the third is scene kit okay so we can understand it very well so first thing is ar kit ar kit is basically the core foundation framework for making ar apps you can say and this was being used with um, like ui kit a lot for getting the ar view which it offers uh, scene kit came after AR kit, I guess, and scene kit was also being used, which has been replaced by reality kit now. So today, if you are watching this video in 2023, probably you would use reality kit. But then again, we will have to use AR kit for AR view because reality kit does not offer um, AR view directly. Why? Uh, and and see, the fact is, reality kit is made. Uh, made typically for swift ui right and ar kit was for ui kit so reality kit if you are using then we will have to get the ar view somehow in swift ui so let's see how we will get that so first of all you have to do um let's create a new file rather here and uh, here we can see, uh, like select a swift file that should be fine and um, let's name it reality view you can name it anything see in this video i'm going to give you a very simple way of creating the ar apps but and i'm just moving it here um, but 
this is not the only way we can do it even better so first of all we will import swift ui okay and uh, because that is something which we need anyway and then we will have a class let's say reality view i hope um, you can see this and it will conform to the protocol ui view representable what it will do it will convert any ui kit view to ui view basically and now this when you are using this protocol you have to override few of the functions so first one would be make ui view which will give you some ui view right and you will write some code here and second would be update ui view okay and again you will write some code here so we don't have to update anything so nothing to do right now here to do and make ui view is like right now giving us some ui view but rather we want an ar view but we don't have any ar view in um, here so we will import a reality kit for first of all and if we see even this does not have or have yeah it has ar view which is pretty good uh, now what i can do i can create a, let's say an ar view which will be more like ar view frame and the frame would be zero and then we can return this ar view this is all you have to do to get started and now once we see this okay we got some more issues with this thing let's see what are the issues okay so protocol because it uses self in a non parameter oh uh -huh. there are a lot of problems with this so what we will do we will change this class to struct and that should fix our problem most of them i guess yeah so now um like we are done with this particular part now we will go back to our content view and you can see we see a lot of things over here as the preview which is pretty good i guess and now i will replace all of this i'll probably use a z stack z stack is basically to overlap a view onto another and first of all i'll use reality view because right now we are just doing some work with reality view and i can see i got this blank screen right and now i can just say ignore safe area so that it takes the entire screen see if you will now run it on your iphone then it won't probably work because see for having any kind of ar experience you need the camera permission right you know it very well so how we will get the camera permission so what you have to do you will go to settings so command comma you can also press oh sorry you don't have to do that in fact you can go to this folder and you can click on this app here and it will open this view here you can go to info and here you can go to bundle bundle name and uh, you can click this plus icon and then you will have to go to privacy section where you will find camera usage permission let's say yeah this one and here you will write that camera permission needed for ar something like this you can change it to a better message probably okay this is all done now let's see if we can get it uh, done right like like let's run this application on my phone so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to run this app but so now if you see my iphone here it will ask me for a permission that camera permission needed for an ar i'll press okay and you can see i can access the camera but nothing else right now we don't have anything else so this is fine and uh, let's do more stuff how we will integrate so there are two ways one either we can use something called reality compose or there is another way that we write the code ourselves i will prefer to write code ourselves but let's see uh, how we will start with reality compose so let's say we can just say a new file and uh, if we re write reality compose then you can see reality compose project or if you write ar kit right so reality compose is there so reality and we can select we can press next and make sure you select the target and you can say my scene or uh, yeah my scene is fine i guess and then it will what it will do it will create this my scene for you right and now you can see we have this view over here which is not very interesting right now but what you can do you can open it in reality compose so um, let me do one thing let me open it uh, like this and you can see this is our 3d view and what i'm gonna do i will select this and delete this box and i can 
uh, choose a lot of anchors from here for example if it is a horizontal plane then you will choose horizontal which is what we are selecting right now vertical is like this image face object we will explore each of these things in the future but right now let's go here and click on add and uh, select an object you can select anything i have a lot of things over here so let's do this let's have this sign over here um and uh, let's place it like this oh this is looking nice <laughs> and what we can do is um this sign is looking nice uh, let's change the color a little bit let's make it red and let's change the uh, text to code put this is going to be interesting i guess yeah and now what you can do is you can go to uh, transform and you can set it all of these to zero so that we are sure that it is in the center yeah this is fine now once you are done with this thing huh this is very very nice <laughs> so um, yeah this is looking pretty cool right now you will go back to xcode and uh, you have the scene ready you can see it here as well code pour and now you will go to my uh, content view here uh, we have this reality view dot ignore safe area which is fine we don't have to touch it and uh, we will go to reality view here what we can do is um, we can say let um, uh, we can name it anything let's say we can say um, my scene okay you can name it anything again right and you have another my scene over here and you can say load box okay or uh, you can have see how this load box is even coming that might be your question so um, let's go back to that view which we had uh, here so here if you will go to this scene section you can see the name is box right we could have changed it to something else also as well and once you do this now then xcode creates this my scene class for you so now it is saying that okay it can be it should be try and all things like that so what we can do is we can just do catch and we can just say print enable to load the scene and uh, here we can just say try right so uh, now if we go to my scene then it has created this automatically this particular content for us where we have load reality file uh, load box where you know this my scene has been created and so most of the job is done by the like xcode itself you don't have to do much and it is doing all the things for you now going back to reality view what i can do i have the scene here i can use my ar view and i can just say scene dot add anchor and what are anchors what are model entities we will cover it in the next video but right now let's say we are anchoring it anchoring means we are fixing it to a particular position and then we can just call it my scene right and now let's do one thing let's run it and let's see if we can see something right so i will run it on my iphone and uh, so uh, my iPhone is logged and now if I see here you can see oh this is a so big man <laughs> this is so big and you can see code pool over here which is pretty good and even if I like change the position of my device then also you can see that you know this is sticking to that so that, that means this is anchoring basically and uh, even though this is not that good let's try it again <laughs> uh, why because it is so big right now i could have changed the size but i'll show you at some other place uh, to place it some somewhere different so let's do this let's change it here and you can see you can see here this is much better right and uh, even if i change or rotate my device this is going to be here code pool which is looking pretty good right so yeah that's pretty interesting and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed uh, like playing with this first ar application and if you had fun press the like button subscribe to the channel and if you want more videos on ar view or a reality kit or augmented reality apple vision pro then subscribe to this channel also let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about it and about this series of tutorials and i'll see in the next one bye bye take care guys and uh, yes Keep sharing with your friends.